Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Top Drafts. In today's episode we're gonna have a look at the prelims, the Super Saloons event and the daily event. Now the prelims you can see I'm in 12th but I feel like this is one of those events where everybody can beat everybody. I don't like these events but this is unfortunately falling into that category. So I will show you what I am running with here. Um, I have you, you and you and then I have this guy and finally this guy so it's not a bad squad at all it's actually a pretty competitive squad and i've been in like fourth and third it's just as i said everybody can kind of beat everybody in this one so it's it's an interesting event i'm not saying anything else but i i generally dislike these events where everybody can beat everybody because they never uh, seem to uh, go well now this is the thing right this guy has a very easy squad but i know this guy so i'm not gonna play versus him um let's see if we can beat anyone else otherwise we might be forced to but i don't think so we can probably beat this guy right um most likely yeah so we, we do this guy instead i don't like playing versus people i actually know who they are uh, because it feels pretty cheap to do so so I, I'm not the biggest fan of doing so if you do that then that's totally fine and that's up to you but uh, I'm not the biggest fan of doing it so if I can avoid it if I can't avoid it I, I, I will have to be forced to of course but uh, if I can avoid it of course I will have mercy on the people I actually know um, but as you can see, this was an easy opponent as well. And these guys are quite far up in the top positionings. So that's why I'm saying this one is kind of interesting. Uh, sorry for my share making noises as well. Um, it's, it's, getting, it's getting old. Uh, and that's, that's to put it lightly. So my share has been making more noise lately. I don't know. You're just going to have to uh, live with it, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we're in 8th place. We're gonna play all 5 tickets. I, I believe we will be able to win all 5, honestly. But we shall see. Um, this guy... Okay. This guy... Yeah, this guy. This guy, for sure. Giovanni Bigassi. I am sorry, my friend, but your squad is worse than my squad, and therefore I am going to beat you because I can. Uh, the Monaco hairpin I lost strike. Yeah, but on, on the other ones, my Bronco does really well. On the dirt with rain, my Bronco does really well. So that's why I have it in there, and that's not, not anything I'm considering switching up whatsoever, because it's just such a great car. Um... Yeah, that's just a win. That Acura, I'm so happy I maxed it because it really helps me here. Same goes for the new Viper I have. Um, and of course the Corvette, like everything was maxed prior. I didn't need to max anything for this finals. All of these were just maxed. I just had them maxed. So it's a pretty good squad for sure. Of course I would have wanted to have this because when you max that, it's of course way better than what I have. But I'm not too uh, stingy about that, honestly. So this guy will be too... Oh, 45,000 trophies. I can kind of see it, though, because he has some decent cars here. I can kind of see that he would have that sort of trophy count. But I'm still better than you. I'm sorry. I have a good squad for this one. I have a solid squad that would make tier 2 anywhere, I think. Um, like, you would have a very elitist bracket for there to be... Uh, 10 better hands than mine. I, I don't think there's many of those brackets out there. There's probably one or two in a NA, is what I would guess, but I don't know. I didn't get into one of those, so lucky, I guess. <laughs> the sucks. So I am actually currently maxing out. Actually, a decent car. Uh, that's a car many people are sleeping on because, because of its being a Citroën. But honestly, let's just have a look at it. This is a good car. Like, this car is good. It goes to 87 handling and, like, pretty low 0 to 60 with only being 32. And then it's also medium. Like, it's a good car, honestly. 
Uh, it's obviously not usable in very many situations because it's a Citroen. But when it's actually useful, it's like the best in its category. So I definitely am looking forward when, to when that is maxed. Um, this looks difficult for me. These slalom tests always are difficult for me. I need to have a think over who I can actually beat here. Hmm. Yeah, this got this got uh, tricky. To say the very least. This guy. Okay, this is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. I need to think because on Twisty Road I will put my Pontiac Solstice. Slalom test, I do believe I barely win with my Acura. And then I can tie that one. No, I can win that one and yeah, this one is fine. I don't know what I was thinking guys. I just had to had to sit back, relax and think a little bit because when you don't, uh, you can risk losing. So I didn't want to do that uh, at this particular time of day. So I just sat back and thought of my options. That's a very good thing I recommend everyone does. If you are unsure whether you will win or if you are uh, about to lose, just sit back relax consider your options and then do the maths in your head and you will probably work it out i believe this is just about a win because i've had this scenario before yeah yeah all right i mean is there i'm thinking right if i were to switch this to something that is actually Standard tires would that benefit me probably why did I say benefit so weird sorry guys Like to this probably would be better, right? You know what I think that would probably be better So I'm gonna do that. That's probably an upgrade any time Yeah, it must be, right? What am I doing? Of course, it's always better than the solstice on the rainy track. So why wouldn't I put... It? Wow. Yeah, that's true. Oh, but... Mm, but in scenarios such as this, it's not better. Ah, oh, but then I can use... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I like this decision still. Um, This guy. Giovanni again. Because, like, then this goes here, right? And then I win the G-Force test, I just lose this one instead. And I think that's almost even better. So, yeah, I, I like this decision. I think this is the better squad. I should, I should have been running from the start here, so... Okay, there we go. Because this should be, like, 50 points lost, you know? Yeah. It's nothing. So, I like this way. I like this way. I think this way is a good way. Alright, there we go. So, were that all the tickets? Yeah, with those all played, we're up to four, uh, fifth again. So, you can see what I'm getting at. I, n I never lose, and yet I have 19 losses, you know. Uh, moving on to the Super Saloons. Um, what I am running for this... I didn't actually look at the requirements, but... I feel like I can be running um, this. Like, this is a great squad. I wonder if there's rain, though. So, we will have a look. Uh, Super Saloons. There's no rain. <laughs> it's bone dry. That complicates things. Um, that's for sure. Okay, so this is immediately better than this. This is honestly better than that, probably. Yeah, this would be my squad then. Way worse. Okay, let's dive into it. Let's see if we can actually beat these people anyways. You never know. Uh, fast, 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 and then twisty, twisty. Ah, uh, that is gonna be... Uh, we're gonna watch that last one, because I think I'll beat the Subaru, even though he has... How much more handling? Nine? Nine more handling? I think I still win. That's my prediction. 
Alright, so let's get these wins out of the way. I'm happy I maxed this one. It's a, it's a weird little machine that helps me every now and then, and this is definitely one of those cases. Uh, look at my acceleration. I feel like on the long straight, I will take this. Ah, uh, he is quite a bit ahead though, but look now. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Barely. Barely, guys. Very interesting. I like that. I really love those races, honestly. Um, four more. It looks like I have a decent squad if you compare to these other people. But then again, this guy has 5,000 trophies. So when I get to the real competition, I might not be smiling. Uh, just a guess here. Just a guess. Actually, I want to see how... Yeah, four point... I feel like for the twisty circuit, my standard tires legendary is probably better than the... Uh, than uh, this. I honestly think so, because it has better MRA, three more handling. Yeah, I'll switch it. I will switch it. Um... We can try it on Karting Circuit, but I think on Karting Circuit the other car has the advantage. But we'll try it anyways, because we win versus this guy, so... If we even win Karting Circuit, then this is the most easy decision ever. But I have a feeling we won't actually do that. We'll see though, let's have a look. Oh, actually we might here. Yeah, look at that, we do win Karting Circuit, so yeah, it's definitely the better choice then. No, I'm not gonna skip, I'm gonna look. Uh, this is a win, right? Yeah, okay. Like, this car is so useless unless you max it out. When you max it out, it's decent, right? But if you, if you just keep it not maxed out, it's never gonna be useful for you. Like, honestly. So, um... The moral of the story, if you're gonna... If you really are thinking of keeping that car, you have to max it. You have to go for it, honestly. Because it is just useless at one star sitting in your garage. At least max the handling, you know, so that it does some bits well. Um, yeah, okay. It looks like we came into a very easy bracket in this one. I was expecting to get very much demantled in this one, but it looks like we are just going the complete other way around. We are just winning. Like there's no tomorrow. That being said, this one is interesting. We're gonna lose quite a bit on that slalom test. But we win all the others, so... You win some, you lose some, and uh, that's fine. So yeah, this is... That's not heavy at all. 77 points. I thought we were gonna be looking at like 130. Oh, so that's a loss. Wow. Interesting. I need to get my hands on that car. That epic. It's very, very good. Alright, final ticket. Let's see what we can do. Um, oh, this guy. This guy looks good. Uh, this guy looks like he has no business being up here. This is what I mean, right? Now this is looking decent. If you have this at one star, it's not. It really isn't looking decent. But when you have it upgraded like this, it looks okay. Although this is the same RQ and I'm sure it would always win when they are both maxed. So I don't know what that's about. Um, that goes there. We lose that karting circuit actually because mine is 969 because that was better. Way, way back in the day when this was upgraded, like 800 days ago. Um, yeah, this might be a problem. We need to beat one of these. We're gonna do this. Hopefully we win versus the evil. I pr I'm pretty much sure we do. Um, let's have a look. We don't. Okay. 
And then this is a loss, I think. And I said, this guy, <laughs> this guy has no business being here, I said. And then I go and lose versus him. Am I serious? Maybe I get enough points here. Yeah, I did. Okay, never mind. Never mind. It's all good. Still, this guy had a better squad than what I thought. I actually almost lost there, so... Fair, I guess. Fair, Pavel. Someone played in one versus me? Probably Gary. Okay, well, there we go. Let's now quickly go for the daily event. I will skip through these rounds. Um, so let's do that. This, this, and this. I have very good daily standard tires, I think. Like, it's very much good. Especially when you face people who are using super rares in their daily hand. Um, I didn't catch how many trophies this guy has, but probably not a lot, so... I am sorry if I'm being harsh, uh, is what I'm trying to say, because people always think I'm too harsh versus my opponent. <laughs> like, uh, stop, just because you have played for long and got good cards. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know I played for long, and I know that's why I have good cards. And I know people haven't played for so long, so of course they have bad cards. It's not... Like, you people... Uh, some of the people... I feel like they act like I have never had bad cars, like I, th like I have never been at the bottom. Of course I have. Um, and I'm never trying to be actively mean, I'm just trying to encourage, you know, get better cars, come on, do it. <laughs> I dare you. Like, if, if you're in, if you have just started out, or if you're, uh, you know, you've just reached Dark U500, or you've just reached 6,000 trophies or whatever, Grind clubs, grind clubs until you cannot grind no more. Like grind clubs, make, uh, go ahead and make that. Uh, what what is it? You can make like 300k per day. Go ahead and do that. Open a bunch of ceramics every single day, and you your garage will grow way quicker than mine is because I don't do that. Um, but I used to do that, is what I'm saying, and that's why I grew my garage so big over such a small period of time. Uh, that and of course I bought a lot of carbon fibers for real life money. Of course that helps as well uh, But like You can do it even though you don't spend money on the game. You can actually be quite competitive if you just grind clubs um, and Always always buy the um, Multiplier Like just grind that gold and then buy the multiplier You will earn so much from that multiplier by just grinding clubs um, okay, one more to go. Let's see who's up top and let's play versus him. I'm not even gonna look. Martin, is that actually him? That's pretty badass if it, if that's him. He's playing this and he's like very, very old. I, I, I would so respect that if that's the case. But I, I, I of course you cannot be sure. But that's really cool. If that's actually you, Martin, that's very cool. And now I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> That's a free star, I think, yeah. Um, there we go. Alright, guys, that was the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I am doing very well in all events. It's been a long while since I did this well in the prelims. Like, I feel very safe in the top 10. Uh, if you guys also feel safe in the top 10 or if you don't, please let me know where you're at in the, the comment section down below. If you want to join my public Discord server with over 900 members, almost a thousand now, uh, actually, definitely check it out. It's down below in the description. It has only to do with top drives. It's not about me or my channel, uh, although I do talk about me and my channel sometimes, but... It's about top drives in there, so if you want to get some help with top drives, if you want to get some tips, if you want to see, uh, like, if you want to see what uh, the final requirements are already, you, you, you can do that through my uh, Discord uh, channel, so server. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. If you want to see what I'm maxing out, if you want to see that Saxo maxed out, definitely check out my Instagram page. I post every single max out I do on there, and I also post whenever I make custom cards. I post them on there, so if you are interested in any of that, check out my Instagram. My Patreon is also available if you want to have your name featured at the end of every video. Be there when I do my biggest pack openings and be a member of my private Discord server. So check that out if that is something you want. Uh, and without any further ado, that's all I had for you in today's video. Like and subscribe, that helps me out so much. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Until then, stay safe, have a good one, take care of one another, and goodbye.